Hi, Enriching Hour. Oh, it's good to see you guys again. Today, I thought I'd read you a story about manners. Before we do that, let's review some of our sign language signs that we've done at school um, before we were staying at home. The first one I have, want you to remember is, thank you. Remember, we put our hand to our chin and down, thank you. Oh, another really good one is, please. So we have, thank you, and we have, please. One I just learned today is I'm sorry. And you make your hand like the letter A and you put it on your chest and you go, I'm sorry. So it's two circles around your chest. Another one that I just learned today is excuse me. When you want to move, you, when you want to go around somebody and that is like this and you go, excuse me. So your hand goes two times on your open hand and it's excuse me. These are some signs we're going to use today in our book. So let's get started. Here's our book that we're gonna read. But before we get started, everybody get your favorite blanket or your favorite teddy bear, and let's come and sit around and we'll read our story. Are you ready? Here we go. Bear, your manners are showing. Bear was eating a delicious blueberry cookie. He had taken it out of the cookie jar without asking. Oh no, goodness gracious little bear, said his mother. Where have your manners gone? Hmm. Bear stopped munching. He turned around to look for his manners. I don't see them behind me, he answered. Manners aren't in back of you, said Mother Bear. They are in your heart. I'll have to do something to help you remember them. So she went to her desk. When she came back, Mother Bear had a purple ink pad and four little stamps. One at a time, she stamped them on a piece of paper. This one says, please. When you want something, you might use the magic word, please. Please. This one says, thank you. When someone gives you something, you always say, thank you. This one says, I'm sorry. When you do something that you shouldn't do, you say, I'm sorry. And this one says, excuse me. When someone is in your way, you don't push them. You find the magic words, excuse me. Now, what was that sign again, Miss Heather? The sign for excuse me is your hand is out and you go like this. So that means, excuse me. Now, please let me have your four little paws, Mother Bear said. Then stamp, 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 stamp. And there were Little Bear's manners on his four little paws. Now off to school with you, Mother Bear said. But first, she gave him a big bear hug. At preschool, Little Bear saw two friends playing with a lovely lump of red clay. I want some of that, he said to them, and he reached over to grab Teddy's piece. No, you can't have it, Teddy yelled. As Little Bear raised his paw, he saw the magic word stomped on it. Please, please, he said softly, and Teddy Bear put a big lump of red clay in Little Bear's paw. <clears throat> I think something comes next, Little Bear said, scratching his head. What were those words? Then he looked at his other paw. There were the two words he needed. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy, he said. His friend smiled. Then Teddy handed an extra piece of red clay to Little Bear. Mother Bear was right, Little Bear said to himself. These really are magic words. <gasps> After he had finished at the clay table, Bear ran over to the jungle gym. On the way, he bumped into Little Bear, Bill Bear, and knocked him down. Little Bear fell right on top of him. Bill Bear cried and rubbed the bump on his head. Little Bear raised his head and saw the stamp print on the bottom of his paw. I'm sorry, it said. I'm sorry. 
Little Bear knew just what to do. He climbed off of Bill and then helped him get up. And of course, he said, Bill, I'm sorry. Bill stopped crying and handed his blue car to Little Bear. He had always wanted to play with that car. I'm sorry were magic words just like please and thank you. Soon it was time for outside play. Little Bear needed to go past two of his friends standing in the doorway. What do you think he used? Maybe this was the time for some more magic words. He looked at his other paw. There were the right words he could use. Excuse me, Little Bear said politely and his two friends moved over as fast as they, you could say Jack Robinson. The more Bear used please and thank you and I'm sorry and excuse me, the easier it was to remember them. After a while, he didn't need to look at his paws anymore. And when the winter rains came and washed the magic words off his four little paws, Little Bear wasn't upset one bit. For by the time, this time, they were in his heart, just like Mother Bear had said. That's the end. So when you're playing at home and with your mom and dad and brothers and sisters, remember to use the words please, thank you, I'm sorry, and excuse me. These are fun words that we can use. It was fun seeing you guys today, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.